Hey you, think you're a YouTube detective? I've got a bunch of crime scene and detective riddles for you to solve. Let's see what you get compared to the rest of your detective partners. You get one point for every riddle you crack, and only 10 seconds to figure out the answer. The Angry Wife Brian called his wife and said that he would be home at 8 in the evening. When Brian came home, it was 8.05. Brian and his wife didn't have anything special planned, but his wife was still very angry because Brian was late. Why did Brian's wife get so mad? Brian said that he would be home at 8 in the evening, but he actually came home at 8.05 in the morning the next day. A Naughty Waitress Robbie sat in his favorite coffee shop and found a fly in his soy latte. He asked the waitress politely to replace his coffee with a new fly-free one. After Robbie received the new latte and had taken a sip, he immediately realized it was the same cup of coffee he had in the first place and was very angry at the waitress. How did he know the waitress had given him the same cup back without the fly? Answer. Robbie had a big sweet tooth and loves a bit of sugar in his soy latte. When tasting the second latte, he realized that it was sweet already. Did he lie? Paul, a keen marathon runner, was alone at home and heard something fall in his parents' bedroom. He went to investigate and found that his mom's favorite ornament was broken on the floor. Out of the corner of his eye, Paul saw someone run out of the room. Paul immediately pursued the stranger down the street. He tried to catch up with the stranger, but in the end, he cramped up because the stranger was too quick and Paul couldn't keep up. Paul told this story to his mom, but she refused to call the police to investigate the case. His mom asked Paul to stop lying and admit that it was indeed him that had broken her favorite ornament. Who is right, Paul or his mom? Answer. Paul's mom was right. She knew that Paul was an amazing runner and that he wouldn't have cramped up after such a short time. She knew Paul was lying as he didn't want to confess about breaking her favorite ornament. Who killed Mr. Bond? Mr. Bond was found dead in his room after he had gone to sleep for the night. The room had no windows and the door was locked. The only four people who had a key to the room were questioned. Dorothy the maid, I came to wake up Mr. Bond. I opened the door and I screamed as I saw him dead on the floor. Tom the butler. When I heard what happened, I quickly ran into the room, flicked the light switch to turn it on, and saw Mr. Bond with a knife sticking out of his neck. Letitia the governess. I rushed up alongside Tom the butler, and when he turned on the light, the room was all bloody with Mr. Bond on the floor. Jack the chef. I was prepping breakfast and didn't see anything or hear anything as I was pumping tunes. Who killed Mr. Bond? Answer. It was Dorothy the maid. If Mr. Bond had been sleeping at night and the room was dark, then she wouldn't have been able to see Mr. Bond lying there unless she murdered him. Time to take a short breather. Enjoying the video so far? Like our video and subscribe below for more amazing content.
No rest for us detectives. Let's get back to it. The Stranger Friend Jordan met a stranger whom he'd never seen or met before. He had heard about the stranger, but no descriptions of his appearance were ever mentioned to Jordan. The stranger wasn't a famous actor or actress and lived a very quiet life. Nevertheless, Jordan knew immediately who the stranger was. How was this possible? Answer: Jordan had met the twin brother of one of his friends. The Locked Car A man has been brutally shot in the front of his car. The police forensic team arrived and noticed there were no traces of gunpowder on any of his clothes. That meant that the murderer wasn't inside the car while committing the crime. There were also no bullet holes in the car, and all the doors and windows were closed. How was the man shot in the car? Answer: The man was in a convertible car. First, the murderer shot him when the roof was down, and then put the roof up after the man was dead. Well, it's time to see your results. If you're a detective genius and got five or six points, then it's your turn to come up with the trickiest riddle you can and I'll add it to my next video. Just leave it in the comments. If you got three to four points, then don't stop now, as you've nearly completed your detective training. Remember, watch out for the little details. If you got zero to two points, you need to keep watching more of my riddle videos to improve your detective skills. See you later.